I ain't late, you're late. Shut the hell up. Wait, am I lower accurate Wing Dragon of Raw deck? Shouldn't I play more than just one copy of Wing Dragon of Raw? Aren't I trying to actually bring this card out? It's probably a good idea to play more than one copy, right? I don't know, I've never played a lore accurate Wing Dragon of Raw deck before. So the ratios on the lore accurate Wing Dragon of Raw elude me. A stream that's not late at night? Well, there's gonna be a stream late at night too. Okay, so. Let's go win all of my games. Hello, it's been a while, been real busy. Hello there, Martin Mepsi Espinoza. What have you been busy with? Hustling and flow. Do logs. Okay, I'm not early. Hot damn. Yes, hello there. I'm gonna order uh, some food. Hmm. Hmm. What the hell is a pita? <gasps> Hummus with grilled chicken? What's hummus? I have no idea. The pitcher looks good though. What did I get in my opening hand? Garbage. Oh, going second? Oh, not half bad. I have Maxi. Maxi can potentially win me the game. Hey there, Mr. Logs. You sound good today. Thank you for blessing me. Holmes are fries. Why, thanks for the, the bit. A spike plus. I don't know what that last thing means. I always gotta be careful with things I don't understand because they're probably D's nuts jokes. Ha ha ha, idiot. Any suggestions for a fun drag unity? Or DNA Tura deck? Fun drag unity? I don't think you can play a fun drag unity deck. Here's my opinions on drag unity decks. Drag unities are inherently very linear. What that means is you do the same plays every time, and all your strategies are trying to do the exact same plays every time. And there's no deviation from the strategy. There's no adapting. All of your strategies are just trying to do the exact same plays every time. And they take forever, too, at that. Like, you know, that's how most decks are. I get it. But since drag unities take forever to do basically the exact same combos every time without any variations or changing the formula, it's just uh, not an enjoyable experience. It's hot, get fucked. You know nothing, drag unity is fun. It's the exact same combos every time, they take forever. Two instant concedes in a row. I'll just set that because I got nothing. I have two good going second cards though. That was an awesome duel. I know, right? I won two duels in a row and I didn't have to do anything. I will say, that new Dragunity support they release, that shit is fire. Like, it is so good. Like, holy crap. They need to give all archetype, all old archetypes, that kind of new support. What the hell is a gyoza? Red Eyes Insight. Send one Red Eyes to perform a single Red Eyes Fusion. Alright. When they use Red Eyes Fusion, that's all they can do for the turn, right? Ooh, this looks good. Is it even worth using Maxi for this? I mean, it's not like they're going to do any other combos or whatever. Hi chat in the duologues. Hello there. What do Red Eyes even bring out in this format? I know they can perform an FTK, but it's like, not very consistent. Hmm, I wonder if Jimmy Johns is open today. 
God damn it, of course it's not. Meteor Black Comet Dragon. <sighs> if this card is fusion summoned, you can send one Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of that sent monster. Hello, my fair YouTuber. I'm not a YouTuber. Hummus is not garlic. I don't know what the hell hummus is. I've never heard of hummus before. He does one early in the morning and one in the evening if it fits his working schedule. Technically, I can stream whenever I want. I'm just not a morning person, so I stopped doing them in the morning. Whoa, I took a lot of damage. How am I at 3,300 points of damage? Let me check the log real quick. I wasn't paying attention at the last part. So they activated the dragon, sent one to the graveyard, and then they attacked because I went first and passed. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, Deep Sea Diva. Hopefully he doesn't have any hand traps to interrupt my Wongo Wambo combos. Okay, so let's go into Halky Fibrax. Is that a, is there like a copy pasta for hummus that I'm missing? Activate Halky Fibrax, bringing out Deskbot 001 from the deck. Use both of these to link summon into Aurora Dawn. Tsunami, what about Tsunami? Na 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 me. Activate Aurora Dawn, special summon three tokens, and then bring back Death Spot. Then we'll tribute Aurora Dawn plus one of the tokens in order to bring out O Lion from the deck. And then we'll go into a synchro summon for Borlo Dragon. Tribute this card and this card. Special summon this card from the deck. Borlo Dragon is up next. This one, this one, and this one. We'll put it right here. It should have enough attack to beat over the Meteor Dragon. Uh, activate this one. And then O-Line to bring out a level 3 token. Don't you guys remember in the anime when... When the, the people who play the god cards brought out Borlode Savage Dragon. With three tokens and 4,000 attack. I remember that. Oh, and then a Herald of Arc Light to have another Omni to gate on the field. I remember that. That was my favorite part of the anime. Uh, and then it floats into a normal monster when it's sent to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the monster zone to the graveyard, you can target a normal monster in your graveyard and special summon it. <gasps> I can negate? Yeah, I might as well negate. I have three negates. I, I don't think I've ever used all my bore load counters before. Can I have your deck list? Uh, at the very beginning of the VOD, I start the VODs out with the deck list on screen. So you should be able to copy it from there later on. Okay, well, that was an amazing Winged Dragon of Raw opening play. Wouldn't you guys agree? <laughs> Sorry, bro. I don't watch anime while I play my children's card games. You think I'm some loser? I know, right? Imagine watching anime. La cringe. If you control a monster, you can activate this card to turn to a set. During your main phase, pay life points. Okay, what's his other effect? Once per turn, you can tribute one Winged Dragon of Raw. Gain life points equal to attack on the field. All right, so this is just a lore card. Gotcha. Hmm. On my next turn, I should be able to go into my uh, my big combos. Oh yeah, I was just gonna have McDonald's today. I forgot about that. Striker Dragon. <gasps> uh, I can negate that. That's one negate. Unless they have an anti-negate for my negate. 
Wait, what? I stream that's at 4 a.m. Let's go. It's not 4 a.m. It's it's 3:30 in the afternoon. Ooh, a spicy chicken sandwich combo. Oh, oh, this looks delicious. With medium French fries and a medium Coke. Ooh. Blackstone of Ancients is activating its effect in the graveyard. I believe that just adds itself back and then doesn't do anything else. Yeah. Is this the dual logs from the dual logs? Yeah, it's 9 a.m. currently. No, it's not. It's 1.30. Uh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, they probably doesn't go for another Link Summon. Or maybe they don't know that it shares a hard once per turn between both of its effects. I know I've made that mistake before in the past. Do 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 Yeah, he's probably confused. How come I can't activate my effect? Quick launch? You can go for a quick launch. See if I quick care. Special summon a rocket monster from the deck. Okay. What's a shareable? Rocket Tracer. Quick effect. Target a card you control. Destroy it. And if you do, special summon a rocket monster from your deck, except for Rocket Tracer, what? And it's a level four tuner? Also, you can have special monsters rest of your decks for the rest of the turn, except for dark monsters. You can only use one of these effects once per turn. Whoa, it's 6.30 for me? No, it's only 3.30, you guys are all wrong. There's no such thing as a different in different time zones. Ooh. I guess time zones don't exist. I know. Imagine living in time zones, look cringe. Fellow Red Eyes player here, unless you start with two Red Eyes Blasts, you don't go into the Meteor Fusion. Oh, what do you go into? I don't think I've ever seen a Red Eyes player in Plat before. I didn't know they existed. I thought that was like a, what should we call it? I thought it was a, I can't think, a myth, a legend, a fake. We need a new boss, blue eyes with Omni Negates, make it a fairy monster as well so we can fit in with the heralds. How about, no, <gasps> Striker Dragon, oh, Nibiru's live. <laughs> Good thing this effect is a hard once per turn on its search. You can target one phase at monster, rocket monster in your graveyard, destroy that monster on the field, and if you do add that monster from the graveyard to your hand, okay, go for it, I don't care. Oh yeah, you have a Nibiru. I have Nibiru and the Winged Dragon of Ross Sphere mode in my hand. Uh, I don't care. Destroy your card, add your card to your hand, see if I care. What are you gonna do with that field? The only thing I care about is speculative science. Any ideas for an agent OTK? Yeah, there's that one agent that gains a bunch of attack, right? That one's pretty neat. <laughs> he gave up? Whoa. This Winged Dragon of Raw accurate lore deck has gone 3-0 so far. Holy crap. Excuse me, I meant Agent Saturn OTK. 
Aren't there two agent monsters that have the potential to OTK? So this is a, uh, hey, this deck's not half bad. If I was going to make a Red Eyes deck, I'd probably copy this. Whoa, lore accurate raw. Did you guys know that a single summon of a Deep Sea Diva ends on a Borlode Savage Dragon and a Herald of the Arc Light? <laughs> and it's lore accurate, too. Hey, Mr. Dulogs, any pro gamer tips today? Yes, pro gamer tip number one. If you're having fun playing video games, you're not doing it right. You're not improving. Getting good at a game is not fun. Treat it like a job. If you think you're having fun with it, then you're probably not doing it good enough. That is my gamer pro gamer tip of the day. And remember, have fun. Mmm, a mocha frappa. What's that? Required. Ooh, you can make it extra spicy. Is that another Banquet of Millions? Let me see this. Am I seriously winning more games with this today than I was with my Try Hard deck last night? Oh my god, it is. It's another one. Have you tried playing Slifer, the executive producer? Yeah, my Ojama Gods deck is basically a Slifer deck. Spicy chicken sandwich. Choose to go first? Yes. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, so, ooh, what does this do? You can send a divine monster from your hand to the graveyard, add monster reborn from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You can send this face-up card to the graveyard, spell the winged dragon of raw, ignore it summon conditions, you're in the end phase, it's sent to the graveyard. Okay, so it basically searches out that card, cool beans. I have two nice hand traps that can save me during my opponent's turn. Tsunami's unrightly a great piece of art. Thank you, Mr. Duologues, Duologues. I mean, the original song? Yeah, it's great. The abomination I created. You know, I'm sorry. That I subjected you to, uh... Literal torture. It's just like my editor, he, he made the edits for it. And, and I paid for his work already, and I was like, oh, I'll upload it, I guess. But only if it's selected as a punishment. <laughs> Extra spicy pepper sauce. One for one. <gasps> Ooh, Maxi. Moki Moki deck win. Nice early stream logs. Evening logs. <gasps> Should I call myself the evening logs? I can add Moki Moki deck to my list of growing decks to create. Moki Moki deck. He's probably wondering if he should activate Called by the Grave because of course he opened it in his opening hand. I don't think I've ever gone against a bird up player who did not open Called by the Grave. I guess maybe this one did. Thanks for the sub, Tony Nader8669. I made an alt account and already made a tri brigade and elf legend and normal rare decks in less than a day, and I don't understand why people keep playing decks they know they'll probably lose with. Because it's fun. After a while, if you just play the same deck over and over, you start coming down with syndrome of, boy, this meta is stale. Or, boy, I wish this meta was not stale. That's not really things that bother you when you're constantly trying new decks. There are a lot of people who just have fun playing one or two really good decks and then nothing else. And that's just a mindset that just doesn't uh, appeal to me in the slightest. Ooh, I'm gonna have a big Nibiru token. So apparently, I was watching like a replay last the the clip, and one of the Lyrilis monsters locks him out of so many monsters except for Xyz monsters for the rest of the turn. I didn't know that. I don't know which one it is though. 
it this one? No, I think it's one of them. Yeah, but like you said, if you're having fun, you're not playing correctly. Oh, I'm not. Um, I'm not trying to be a, a competitive, sweaty gamer. I I do play for fun, and this is why I lose a lot. S Recital Starling. Ooh, another maximum C. I need to uh, give them some pause so that they don't get too suspicious of Nibiru. Make them think I have some other hand trap in my hand. Oh, I guess it's not giving me any response, even though I have on selected. Nibiru is lore accurate? Nibiru is lore accurate. Take a Lureless monster from your deck, add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard, then special summon a Lureless monster with a different name from your hand. Bird Call. It's almost midnight for me. I usually stream at midnight. IRL, I have 15 decks. None of them can win in the meta, but still good against friends. Sounds like my decks, too. Bergios. Uh, I don't know what you're on about. Dekriyaki was good. You have the voice of an angel, a fallen one. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, look at all these cards I've drawn. Barrel. I mean, I enjoy Monarchs even though I know they're bad. Me too, I love Monarchs. Right, and thanks for the bits, Hito Master. My favorite deck in Master Duel is Abyss Actor. You should try them. Taking your opponent into destroying your back row is fun. I do like that kind of game style. Oh my god, I have too many cards! Stop letting me draw so many cards! XB Crispy... An Extra Crinkle Cut Pickle. Ooh, that sounds good. Recital. So, this one just searches too, right? Yeah, both of them just search out another level 1 monster from their hand. And this act is pretty based. Based on what? <laughs> Try again, Nerval. Two lightning storms? Yeah, I can't use any of them. Oh, here we go. This is where I drop Nibiru. On top of Utopic Future. Okay, Nibiru time. Do they have a negate for Nibiru? Nope, of course not. I'll take mine in attack position. Yeah, Dude, I love that they have an animation for Nibiru. Because you know it's pissing off your opponent when they have to watch that. Try Brigade Caress. <gasps> oh no. What does lore accurate actually mean? It means we're being accurate to the lore of the game. Nervel is activating its effect, which adds a Try Brigade monster from their deck to their hand when it's sent to the graveyard. If I'm remembering those correctly. So they get Tri Brigade Fractal, who can send itself from the hand to the graveyard to summon some cards. Tri Brigade Caress is activating its effect to banish cards from the graveyard in order to cheat out a monster for some shenanigans. However, I have Effect of Ailer in my hand. They're banishing three cards. Effect Valor it is. I don't know if my opponents actually use their normal summon. Let me check. They have not used their normal summon yet. Oh my goodness. Oh, they do have Called by the Grave. <laughs> <laughs> they waited all this time. Why didn't they use it immediately? They're seriously fine with me going for all the maxis? What is the lore of the Winged Dragon of Ra? The lore of Winged Dragon of Ra is that he's a big old monster who does things. There's his normal summon. He's going to use Fractal to use the other effect to probably go to a Shirag, I'd assume. He can't summon the Barrier Statue until the end phase, so I can use Guardian Slime to stall out. Oh no, he's going to banish my the Winged Nibiru, the Primal Being. 
Mega Master Duel summoning animation deck to spam your opponent with summoning animations. That seems like a fun idea. What is the stream time? I can get used to this? Well, I can't normally stream at this time. Tri Brigade, Shirag, the Ominous Shadow. Shirag activates its effect, banishing Nibiru from the field. And then they attack. Look for at all of this big damage. You think I'm going to lose to all of this big damage when they don't have any negates on the board yet? Because if so... <sighs> Actually, I need to have no face-up monsters in the field to resolve Lightning Storm. Is this damage? Let me... Uh... Actually, I might just let Guardian Slime go through, but I need to do some math real quick. Uh, let's see, 12 plus 19 plus 24 plus 30. Nope, that's game if I don't use Guardian Slime. Hmm. Well, they can't destroy Guardian Slime during the battle phase. Unless they bring out another card. Which I don't think they can do. Add to order. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What are they doing? Typing on a calculator. I mean, how else do you do math? <laughs> like, I can do math pretty quickly in my head, but... I need exact numbers. I don't need some, like, fake numbers. Barrel. Oh, is this the one that makes it so you can't summon from the extra deck except for Xyz monsters for the rest of the turn? Oh my god, another draw. Stop giving me cards! This is too many! Assembled Nightingale. Alright. Detach one material from this card until the end of this turn. Lures monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also, you take no damage. This card's annoying. I wish I had drawn into a sphere mode. That would be super cool. Shirag first. Okay, we'll bring out Guardian Slime immediately. That's not going to stop Assembled Nightingale from attacking, but it will stop everyone else. Direct damage. You can attack three times because it has three materials for 800 each. What is eight times three? Uh, 24? I think? Or is it 21? I don't remember. Ooh, that looks good. Guardian Slime activates its effect. Where it's a defense becomes equal to your attack guardian slime is dead activate guardian slimes effect and now I can uh, blah 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 attack is declare add from the deck of graveyard and if you do tribute some one monster to your main phase in addition to a normal summoner set uh, you can banish this card from the graveyard I think this is the good one Effects until the end of the turn. When attack is declared, tribute any number of monsters that declare attack this turn. This card gains after damage calculation. You can send all monsters your opponent controls to the graveyard. Uh, I can do this one. Um, so I only have 100 left. Wing Dragon of Raw gains attack equal to the amount paid, even if this card leaves the field. So if I bring it out, alternatively, I'm going to go for Ancient Chant. Just I have another way to get it out. Oh yeah, thanks for the sub, Ashton. And sucks at destiny. I'm sure you're not that bad at destiny. You should have brought out Ensemble, then you wouldn't have been able to special summon, I think. No, it would just bounce the card and it would just come back. Okay, so now I don't have a card in the field anymore, which means Lightning Storm is live. Is gonna go into Zeus, that's fine. Um. Oh, he's going to use it immediately, so there's no targets. What? Oh, he's afraid of sphere mode. Oh, that's, that's reasonable. 
I didn't draw sphere mode. <laughs> I drew a whole bunch of cards in my deck, and, I, and none of them were sphere mode. That's fair. Yeah, that's that's fair. Deep Sea Diva. Okay, uh, isn't there like a button I can use to like? Oh no, I can just drag him over. All right, so I can go into Deep Sea Diva. I only have 2,600 life points, so I can't OTK with Winged Dragon of Raw. Hmm, Ancient Chant. It's called Surrender, so let's see. Lightning Storm is unusable. Whoa, thanks for the gifted subs, Rudy. I think I'm just gonna go for the Deep Sea Diva combos. Since through all that drawing, I didn't draw any of my Garnets, thankfully. Okay, Deep Sea Diva. Oh, I see someone accepted the Maxi Challenge. They did, for some reason. Okay, so we'll go for this and this. Uh, Christron, Hunky for Bricks. Activate Christron, Hunky for Bricks. Special Summon uh, 001 from the deck, which I'm actually super surprised I didn't draw after drawing through half my deck. Then we go into Aurora Dawn. I'm just waiting for him to use his combos. Attack position only. Yeah. He got rid of all of his cards, so... Basically saved Lightning Storm. Okay, and then we get a whole bunch of things. He has to use his card effect at some point, otherwise my negate is gonna be live. Deskbot 001. Now would be the time to use it, but he's not. Okay. Deskbot 001 with 3,000 attack points. There we go. I knew he was going to use it eventually. Okay. Now, this allows me to activate the Ancient Chant. What's the Ancient Chant? I should look this up so I can chant it more creatively. Okay, and then we'll activate Millennium Revelation. Sending um, one Divine Beast Monster from your hand to the graveyard. Oh shit, did I forget to put Monster Reborn in my deck? Uh, damn. I don't have Monster Reborn in my deck. <laughs> Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, what's his graveyard effect? Deck to their hand. You can send this card to the graveyard. Oh, here it is. Add one Ring Dragon of Raw from your deck or graveyard to your hand. If you do, tribute summon one monster to your main phase and just do a normal summon to set. You can banish this card from your graveyard. If you tribute summon the Wing Dragon of Raw this turn, its original attack and defense becomes your original attack of the monsters tributed for the effect. Okay, well, I can't do that. Um, so... Shit, I didn't know I didn't have that card in my deck. <laughs> Soul Crossing, Lightning Storm. Okay. And send... Fear mode and deep sea diva to the grave. Great beast of the sky, please hear my cry. Transform thyself in orb and light and bring me victory to this fight. Envelop the desert with your glow and cast your rage upon my foe. Unlock your powers from the deep. Fractal, I will use the maximum C. Unlock your powers from the deep within so that together we may win. Appear in this great game as I call your name, the Winged Dragon of Raw. Alright, thanks for the... Oh, the two gifted subs, sucks at Destiny. <gasps> I think you've gifted subs before, because I remember that name, and I think I asked if you're a fan of first-person MMO shooters. Great Beast of the Sky, please hear my cry. Transform thyself. Someone remind me to add Monster Reborn to this deck. I could have had full combo if I had Monster Reborn. But since I don't have Monster Reborn, I don't have full combo. 
And as we all know, whenever I make a mistake, it's usually your guys' fault for not reminding me. Uh, let's forget the fact that you guys probably do remind me and I just don't read chat. Torrential Tribute? That's his normal summon, right? <laughs> What's he gonna do against Torrential Tribute? This is normal slash rare tech. So the reason I'm playing Dement Torrential Tribute is because I play a lot of water monsters. Oh. What are you going to do against Torrential Tribute number two? <laughs> Beryl. Sapphire. And... That was cool that you were able to play through Torrential Tribute number one, but what about Torrential Tribute number two? So Torrential Tsunami. I play a lot of water monsters, and there's this card which searches out Torrential Tribute, but also protects your water monsters from the graveyard. That's why I'm playing it. Can he make you draw all your deck? Probably, if he was uh, gooder at this game. Um, okay, so we'll normal summon Reactor Slime, activate Reactor Slime's effect. To special summon out two monsters. No! I was going to bring out the Winged Dragon of Raw! Don't tease me like this. Wow, I can't believe I, I ranked up because my opponent didn't use Called by the Grave on my maximum C, but did use it on Effect Veiler. Okay, well that was definitely a clippable game. Winged Dragon of Raw scares Tri Brigade player. Tri Brigade player tries to take Maxi challenge and loses. Yeah, it's a pretty normal bird up deck. Put Reborn in the deck? Oh yeah, good thing you guys reminded me. Usually you guys don't remind me about these kinds of things. I can't believe I wasn't playing Monster Reborn. What should I remove for this? Well, the deck is perfect as is. Hmm, so maybe I like Fury of Karu Shin. Torrential Tribute won me the game. I don't know what these cards do. I have Spear Mode already. I'm in rank 3 with Red Eyes, and I might run into you. Uh-oh. If you run into me, go easy on me. Or maybe you don't need to because I'm going to destroy you with my uh, lore-accurate Winged Dragon of Raw deck. What should I remove? I'm thinking a Fury of Karu Shin. Or maybe a Torrential Tribute since I can search him out. Hmm. Let me read these cards real quick. I don't know what they actually do. Uh, one regular draw control gains the following effects until the end of this turn. This effect cannot be negated. This card is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. When an attack is declared involving this card, you can tribute any number of monsters that did not declare an attack this turn. This card gains attack equal to number attributed monsters original attack to the end of this turn. Amp damage calculation if this card attacks sent all monsters your opponent controls to the graveyard. Okay, that's neat. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, target a spell card in your opponent's graveyard, set it to your side of the field. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Is that not once per turn? Banish this card from your graveyard, send one monster reborn from your hand or set on the field to the graveyard. Special summon a winged dragon of raw from your graveyard ignore the summon conditions. Then you can send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. Also send that special monster to the graveyard during the end phase. Whoa. Remove Lightning Storm? No. Metal Reflect Slime. I like this one. Sun God Unification. If you control a monster whose wing dragged raw, activate the card the sec turn it's set. During your main phase, pay life points. Only have 100 left. Special summon a wing dragon of raw. Uh, gains attack equal to number of life points paid. Once per turn, you can tribute a wing dragon of raw. Gain life points equal to its attack on the field. You cannot activate both of its effects in the same chain. If the wing dragon of raw is sent from your field to the graveyard, while well, this card is in your graveyard, special summon it. So this basically activates a mortal phoenix. Okay, so that's pretty good. Play a 43 card deck, remove one spear mode? No. Not happening. Uh, I'll probably just remove Soul Cross, and it's not that good. Mm. Okay, add one Slifer for the laws? I can't play cards for the laws in a deck that's already for the laws. 
Why no called by? I don't fear hand traps. Hand traps should fear me. Hello, Mr. Pro Yu-Gi-Oh player. Hello there. Oh, there was a hype train during that duel? Oh, I totally missed it. Thanks for the bits, Spike, Tenanthos, and Baboon June. Nice. Deep Sea Diva. As long as this isn't interrupted, I got full combo. Well, half of the combo. Okay, we'll go into Christron Halki for Brex. Yeah, this is the most lore accurate turn you can come up with. Activate Halki for Brex. Special summon Deskbot 001 from the deck. Use both of them to go into Auroradon. I'm sure you guys have seen this combo a million times. Thanks for the sub, Distellar. Summon out three tokens. Okay. Bring back Despot 001 if they have a... Uh, <laughs> If they have a Nibiru, now would be the time for them to use it. Special summon. You know, this also doubles as a way to bring out Raw if I'm going second. Just so y'all know. I know this brings out a Boreload Savage Dragon with three materials and 4,000 attack and also a Herald of the Arc Light with one card in your starting hand, but it also gives me Tribute Fodder for Raw if I need it. Doesn't this combo end on Nibiru? Boreload Savage Dragon first. Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion to Chain Block. I don't know what effect this would possibly chain block. Maybe a Ghost Ogre? Target Aurora Dawn. And then we go into the Herald of Arc Light to finish the turn. I'll put him right next to him. Right in the middle monster zone so it can get stolen by my opponent. Wait, is this a competitive raw deck? No, it's a lore accurate raw deck. The fact that it's competitive is just because I'm a pro Yu-Gi-Oh player. Duh. Dual logs getting sweaty. What's sweaty about playing a raw deck? You guys don't understand what sweaty is. Obligatory joke. Oh my god, are you the dual logs from the dual logs dual logs? YouTube clip channel? The streamer based on the YouTuber dual logs dual logs gets his name from the dual logs dual logs? Yeah. Uh oh. Any monster sent from the hand of the graveyard is banished instead. Uh oh. I thought I was safe. Well, at least I know this screws over my opponent. And that's all that matters. Well, I have another one. Dragon Shrine. Oh, you can activate it. Because any card sent from the main deck to the graveyard is banished instead. <laughs> nice one, pro Yu-Gi-Oh player. Why, thank you. As long as you uh, are aware that I'm a pro Yu-Gi-Oh player. Quick launch is activating its effect. Yeah, we're gonna negate that. One Borlo token, please. If it's lore accurate, then why does your deck not include Ra's Disciple? I thought about playing Ra's Disciple, but I took him out to play cards that don't suck. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, so they're gonna send that to the graveyard for a Striker Dragon in order to search out Boot Launch. Right? No, Boot Sector. Metal Dragon activates in the grave. Don't care. GG Easy from Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Player. <gasps> Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Boot Sector launch. Whoa. Ross Disciple is a fish, which he has in the deck. Yeah, my Raw Disciple is basically... um, Whatchamacallit? Red Eyes Metal is going to activate its effect. Here as well, I'll use Herald of Arc Lights Negate. Chain another card. I didn't know I had Maxi in my hand. 
Oh, I wasn't able to use it because of Herald of Arc Light. <laughs> uh, boot Sector Launch. I'll chain the effect of Maxi to it if he uses the effect of the field spell. Thanks for the sub. I'm the Fantastic. Red Eyes. Oh, whoa. Malefic Red Eyes. Oh, goodness gracious. <gasps> A mortal phoenix. Ooh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this. I actually have ways to recover Monster Reborn in this deck. I'm gonna use this to steal his red eyes, darkness, metal of dragon. He's playing lore accurate red eyes. He is. <laughs> he was probably gonna try to recur that. Wow, Deep Sea Diva is the best raw support card ever made. <laughs> so much lore? Like, look at all of the lore in this deck. I play all of the lore relevant cards, like Nibiru, because, you know, it's a god destroying rock. And then Deep Sea Diva, because she's a, a diva, which causes more people to praise the gods. And then Effect Veiler because uh, of uh, Axis Code Talker combos. <laughs> Your opponent is choosing on whether or not to go first. You are going second. Cool. Ah, oh, yes, Nibiru lore. Yeah, you guys get it. <laughs> uh oh, I drew a garnet. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't been drawing my garnets more regularly. I've actually been drawing really well in the past couple of duels. Because he's an attractive waifu in a revealing outfit? I mean, if that's your thing, sure. He, there's some speculation that um, Effect Veiler might be a, a dude, not actually a, a female, but looks very feminine. I don't think we know for sure, or maybe we do, and I just don't remember. Reactor Slime. Effect Veiler for Raw's lore, accurately thirst for cute boys. Exactly. Activate Reactor Slime. Maximum C. These all have 500 attack, right? I'm gonna attack with all of them. <laughs> and then I can use Reactor Slime in order to set Big Boy Slime. I don't think I can summon other cards for the rest of the turn, right? Also, you can't normal or special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for Divine Beast Monsters. Is Ancient God Slime a Divine Beast? No, he is an Aqua Fusion. This is 1,500 points of damage. Can you imagine doing so much big damage? What deck is he playing? Reactor Slime. I'm going to attribute it in order to set Metal Slime from my deck. Doesn't matter which zone I put it in, but I am afraid of Imperm Columns. Main Phase 2. Okay, and then we'll set this, and then end turn with two big boy tokens on the field. Twin Twisters! And a Kaiju. I have no idea what deck is playing. Those are all generic cards that could be anything. Hello, the spider VTubers logs. How's the moon going today? The moon is, like always, chilly. With a hint of, uh... 
non chilliness. Oh, so they're playing Sky Strikers. Okay. Sky Striker Ace Rosa. So that's going to give me a lot of card draw. Hayate. Card draw number one. Battle phase onto my little token for 1,000 points of damage. Activate its effect in order to send a spell card from your deck to the graveyard. I just watched Farfa's Table 500 and there was a decent amount of replays of the Roar Dawn and Herald combos. Didn't expect this today. I love it, Mr. Logs. That's the best engine to run in all of your gimmick decks. If you're not running in your gimmick decks, then you're obviously not trying to play a good gimmick deck. Shizuku, in order to search a Sky Striker card, rather than one that's not in the grave, looks like they only have Ray in the grave. Turn change. Okay, so Sphere Mode's not going to be super useful against my opponent. Um, Lightning Storm will be pretty useful in a turn, though. Let's see. Uh, I can use the token for a summon, right? Crushdown, Halki, Fibrax is just two monsters, including a tuner. I can't do full combos, but I can do combos. Let me see. If this goes through uninterrupted, what I can do is go into Crushdown, Halki, Fibrax, bring out 001. Um. I should be able to go into Herald at the very least. Activate Christron first, O Lion second for the chain blocking. Max C. <sighs> That's not cool. You can't use Max C versus me. That's my card. Okay, well, I could go into Effect Veiler and just go into Axis Code Talker and blow up everything. Should I do that? Should I just do Axis Code Talker, please? There's no way he's one of his t set two cards. Is is that one card which screws over all of my stratagems? Ideally, I'd want to negate on the field before I do that. He doesn't have Ray, so he can't recover. No, he has Ray in the graveyard. Um, hmm. I can go into Selene now. Two monsters, including a Spellcaster monster. But I'm thinking Axis Code Talker... Should I try destroying one of his back rows first? No, if I do that, then I can't go into Selene. Hmm. Monster Reborn his Ray? Oh! <gasps> Ooh, that's smart! That's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? I wish I was a half as smart. Ooh, big brain guy. Give me your ray. Uh oh, did they draw into a Nibiru? I hope not. Oh, I can go into Borlode Savage Dragon now. <laughs> That's enough stats for Borlode Savage Dragon. If I go into that though, then I can't go into um, Selene for access code talker plays. And I don't have the Link Monster in the grave. No, I'm gonna go for Axis Code Talker plays. I'm just gonna do. Uses two materials. Yes. We'll go into this. Oh, wait. Do I have enough spells in the grave to even do this? Oh, no. I forgot to check. Infinite Impermanence? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Link climb into an access code. I can still go into access code. Let's 
See? But the thing is, I'd have to use uh, Ray in order to go into it. Ooh, I can go into BLS. A Nightmare Phoenix. I can't use any of these cards. He's completely useless. Hmm, access code for big damage. I have nothing to convert this token into something better. Axis Code Talker, go. Activate Axis Code Talker's effect. Target Selene. They have one more card face down, and it's a Forbidden Droplet! Oh my god, they had two Monster Negates! <laughs> They had two damn monster negates face down. I was like, oh boy, hopefully they don't have that one monster negate face down. No, no, no. They had two of them. They didn't have one. The only cards they had face down were monster negates. Oh my goodness. Should have climbed. Uh, I mean, I was trying to climb. Aren't you gonna run out of time? No, I have a million minutes left. Hi, Mr. Logs in chat. Hello there. Thanks for the sub shoe time. Blackluster Soldier without high level Link monsters sucks. True. But I do play a lot of high level monsters. Sky Striker, mobilize engaged. Well, if they blow up my field. I have Lightning Storm. What are they gonna do? Negate Lightning Storm with what? Nothing. Nobody expects the second monster negate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting a second monster negate, that's for sure. Why is his attack lower than normal? God damn weird interactions with cards that cut attacks in half. Oh no, it was just Suzuku. Oh, <gasps> Kristan Halky Fibrax. Oh no. Are they going to go into their own Axis Code Talkers? Oh. Oh. You can OTK from this position? Yeah, I don't know about that. A Celine Mister of Mr. Magicians. Thanks for the sub, Havalio. Now they're climbing. That's what I was supposed to do. I don't think I even had enough spells in the grave <laughs> to do the combos anyway. Play spell counters as a card equal to number of spells in the field and graveyards. Oh, graveyards! Never mind, I was. I easily had enough. Do you think Predator Plants will be competitive with new support? No, but it is good support. No tuners in deck. Well, Ash, it's the climb. Shh, you guys must have missed the part where he negated all my shit. Because I was trying to climb. No tuners in deck. Well, Ash, this is why you always run Imperial Order, even if you run lots of spells. Heck no, Imperial Order, I don't have room for it. Where does he fit in with all of my Ross Sphere modes? Wait, why did he go into Gardala? That doesn't make any sense. Is he trying to flex on me or something? He literally just gave me a stronger monster. Sky Striker Becca? Oh, I see. It's so we could steal it for more damage, because this is game now. 2700. I mean, he had game either way. There was still no need to do that. I think he's negating it and then stealing it. Because Ra is the Imperial Order. Yeah, okay, well, uh, that's, that's it for my quick stream. I actually won quite a bit. What's the match history like? Look at all those wins from today. That's from yesterday. 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, was that my only loss today? Because this is from last night. Oh, <gasps> Holy crap, 6-1 with this deck. Dang, that's pretty good. All right, I'm going to go. I'll stream again later on tonight. Goodbye, everyone. Who should we raid? Fifth-rate duelist? What is she? She's actually playing Master Duel? I thought she said on Twitter she hated Master Duel. Oh, no, she's just in the Master Duel category. Um... Good enough. Goodbye. See you guys later on tonight.